Everything is a drum. Hey! What's up, everyone? Adam from FWCI. What is all this about? Jimmy slams the entire nation of Australia. Jimmy's Insults Part 5. Part 5? Okay, I understand. This is the only one that's about Australia. But I saw in the uh, thumbnail, it looks like there's a comedian called Sam Simmons. I think his name is. I really like him. He's this Aussie comedian. He's super quirky. I remember this uh, sketch that he did. But not a sketch, like a stand-up thing about being an erotic cat. I'm an erotic cat. Meow. I don't know why, but that just stuck in my head so bad. I'm an erotic cat. I'm an erotic cat. I always found his quirkiness really funny, um, but I'm very interested to see what Jimmy Carr has to say about Australia. Oh my god, that reminds me. I'm gonna make sure all my tax stuff is in order because tax season's coming up soon. Sorry Jimmy, but I'm just getting my licks in early. If you want a full unedited version of this, uh, go to patreon.com slash fwci, that's where you can get it. Just $5 redos a month and you get early access to my Taskmaster reactions and movie reactions and a whole bunch of other stuff. By the way, for those that don't know, I have been watching Taskmaster, or Taskmaster as I like to call it in honor of uh, Greg himself. Uh, so I feel like I'm gonna know some of these people. That was Rob Beckett. I like Rob Beckett. I feel like I'm gonna enjoy this. Well, actually, maybe not, because it's roasting Australia. But you, you, you know. Let's see what all the fuss is about. Jimmy, what, what, what are you talking about, mate? I started brushing his teeth nine years ago, and great news, he's nearly finished. <laughs> <laughs> Seven pounds and two ounces. The sandwich Johnny ate while his wife gave birth. <laughs> his bacon, sausage, and tomato. <laughs> All right, so this is just a montage of insults. All right, well, whatever. Let's, wait, wait, when does he slam the entire nation of Australia? Off the westbound A42, <laughs> outside Hemel Hempstead on Thursday nights. John got married recently, so sorry, ladies, but one of you had to make the ultimate sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> Joke's on you, mate, because you said A42 outside Hemel Hempstead, and the A42 doesn't go near Hemel Hempstead. <laughs> You know, is there a more John Richardson thing that could be said? 42 to Nottingham, so good luck when this goes out, mate. You're gonna get absolutely owned. <laughs> okay. okay. And, and I thought this might happen, so I've written some put-downs that you... <laughs> oh, you just need to slam back. Okay. All right, let's do this. Jimmy, you look like the average man on the street, and that street is creepy ventriloquist doll street in a weird-looking town. <laughs> yeah, not bad, not bad, not bad. I mean, it is strikingly accurate. When he was growing up, Australian Sam wanted to be a vet and worked in a zoo. It's a shame that he didn't keep it up. There is a gap in the market now for an Australian animal expert since we lost Steve Irwin and Rolf Harris. <laughs> <clears throat> Rolf Harris was a kid's musical act. And it turns out he was also a very creepy, creepy individual. I think he ended up living here the rest of his life. He's dead now, I'm pretty sure. But I think he lived the rest of his life in the UK because he, like, couldn't return to Australia. It was one of those kind of things. I did a best man speech at my, my brother's wedding. And um, his wife was pregnant. And I opened up with, it's lovely to see them together, the bride's legs, that is. <laughs> oh, my God. Two, <laughs> that the bride's family left the restaurant. <laughs> Very bad call. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. And the best man ended the speech and was like, and a new life is born. The sheep's given birth. Everyone ran out into the field with their champagne and stuff. And the sheep's baby was dead. <laughs> oh! <laughs> wow. <laughs> you haven't pulled that one out in a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I was at a wedding and the bride was shot. <laughs> There are over 420 Scottish terms for snow. They include snowway pal, I've got snow money, and snow vegetables for me. <laughs> <laughs> What's next for Sean Locke? Well, he's about to lose a game of countdown to John Richardson. <laughs> is Sean Locke gonna lose a game of countdown to John Richardson? Because if carrot in a box is any indicator, that's not how it plays out. He can go to his DVD shelf and know instantly how anally retentive he is. <laughs> What do you do about the on a DVD? 
The Lord of the Rings, does it go? Yeah, that's a good question. I say the doesn't count. I would go with whatever the first proper word is of the thing. Because otherwise the the T is just going to be massive. It's like everything's just going to be in there. you got like two whole... Anyway, I've gone way too far into this. Under T or is it under L, comma, L? <laughs> it's one of the big questions. I agree. You're in that one, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I invited to talk at a conference on living with diabetes and I don't have it. <laughs> they just presumed that I would have. <laughs> Johnny Vegas there, who doesn't know he has diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, your laugh is beautiful. And by beautiful, I mean sounds like a balloon animal being violated by a fox. Yeah, accurate. Very accurate. Oh, oh, oh. I once asked her, Susie, what's your secret? She said, I once kicked a dog to death. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you wearing, Sarah? Sam that's your trained name? as a vet, then turned to comedy, and he's known in both careers for his put downs. <laughs> Was he a vet, really? <laughs> I found a British tapas menu. This is a real thing, a British tapas menu. And guess what's on your bloody British tapas menu here? Scotch eggs, fish fingers, and porridge. <laughs> what? On your tapas menu, people. What the fuck, man? Menu. Why are you saying tapas, tapas. wrong? Tapas. <laughs> tapas. Well, what is tapas? What are yeah, tapas? Like, well, tapas. You know, tapas. What are you saying? I don't understand what you're <laughs> saying. <laughs> tapas. Tapas. Okay, with your British tapas <laughs> menu. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, do I need to track down this episode and watch it? That's Sam Simmons, he's the best. You work in a tapas restaurant. I do not look like I work in a buddy tapas <laughs> A little bit. What's Latashka? It's a Spanish tapas bar for gentlemen with moustache. A Latashka? Latashka? I like the sound of that place, that sounds kind of nice. I like you, I didn't, last time it wasn't good. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, suck on that, John Richardson. <laughs> is he, What is he like in real life? Is he just a genuinely like funny, kind of, you know, weird dude? Or is he a bit of a prick? Because I can, I can see both of those things being true. You're nice, I can tell you're nice. It just takes two goes at me. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think those two are now flirting. I didn't, this was... <laughs> Well, British culture is pretty good, but you don't have much culture. I mean, really, when you really think about it. An Australian is sitting there accusing us of having no culture. <laughs> well Australian cuisine you guys invented when you started existing five minutes ago. <laughs> Bitch, what the fuck? Sarah Pascoe, I always liked you. Why are you dressed like a French person as well, by the way? Oh, we got culture. We, if you've watched my Taskmaster Australia reactions, We've had iced vovos, we had a sausage sizzle, we had barbecue shapes, we had a bloody Milo and some uh, Vegemite on toast. It had a... Uh, 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 Lamington fruit chocks, I think. <laughs> I know, we're, we're kind of stretching it now. Technically, all of your food is prison food. <laughs> prison food. Fucking hell, Jimmy. All right. Prison food. Well, how close did you get to having prison food? <laughs> All right, that just makes me want to watch more 8 out of 10 cats. But I'm not the expert on that show. You guys are. And uh, But now that I know more of these people, I really, really enjoyed that. Who's that Johnny Vegas guy? He was pretty funny as well. And I know Sean Locke has passed away, but uh, he has a very specific ability to make me laugh. I don't quite know what it is, but he always seems to get me. But let me know in the comments what you thought about this one. Again, if you want a full length reaction to this, go to patreon.com slash FWCI. That's where you can get it. And uh, there should be a whole bunch of other stuff on there as well, including Taskmaster with old little, little Greggy Davies and giant Alex Horn. Appreciate the support, everyone. And as always, be well, stay safe, look after your friends. See you in the next video. Peace. My favourite made up game was a game called Elbow Slap and Run. It went like this. <laughs> Elbow Slap and Run technically wasn't a very good game because there was no way of winning. But I'm still the undefeated champion.